I tried to stay quiet long enough. I said I wasn't going to say nothing. I said I was going to let people do what they want to do. Now, I'm not one to tell nobody business, but I'm sure this so that somebody can be mindful and change their life on today. I don't know why these men need so much attention. I don't know why they want to be a part of every trend that's coming at you. Now, now y'all want to now y'all want to wear hoochie daddy shorts. We used to call them ball cutters. But that's what y'all want to wear now because you need attention. Some of y'all need attention like I ain't never seen. But you're getting attention, but it ain't the attention that you want. Now, I'm going to share this story with you because we got a young man right now in the hospital fighting for his life. He was at a cookout this past weekend. We were all down in good, good friendly uh, fellowship. And he was sitting there at the cookout. We was eating food and listening to music. And he was sitting there in the lawn chair. And he had his legs crossed. Now, this is just parts of the story that I'm getting. I'm piecing it together for you so you can put things in context. So he was sitting there in the lawn chair and he had his leg crossed. And one of his balls had fell out. Now, for some reason, I don't know how he didn't feel the wind on his balls, and nobody saw it. But for some reason, we saw this little squirrel running through the yard, and he ran right up to him and grabbed that nut that fell out, that ball that fell out. Excuse me. And that squirrel had grabbed a hold of that ball, and he wouldn't let him go. He had it in his mouth, and I saw was like, Mama! Mama, he got my ball! He got my Vanetta fainted right there on the spot. She couldn't do nothing to help her son or save him. So we tried to get the squirrel off his ball. The squirrel wouldn't let go because he was being a provider male. He saw, a, a, saw what looked like a walnut and was going to take it to his family because he was providing for his family. That's what I'm on that person. I believe that's, that, that young squirrel wasn't trying to do nothing wrong. He was just trying to provide for his family. So the squirrel had his ball, and we had Junior, and we were pulling the squirrel and pulling Junior, and the squirrel wouldn't let up, and we were still pulling him and pulling the squirrel. Finally, whoo, finally, Vanola hit the squirrel with a broom. She went inside and got a broom, hit the squirrel with a broom, and he let go and ran off, and we had to rush Junior to the hospital. Now, he in the hospital fighting for his ball. He fighting for his ball. Why? Because he wanted to wear hoochie daddy shorts. Now, do we blame that squirrel for what happened to Junior? No, we don't. We blame him because he wanted to wear ball cutters. I say that to you today. Stop doing everything that you see. Everything that you see ain't good. Every trend that you see, you don't have to participate in. Protect yourself. Because had he had on some shorts that was appropriate length, he wouldn't have to figure out if he want to salvage that ball or not. That, that, one, that one ball that got damaged over the weekend. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Don't run a mooch your daddy short. Stay out of them ball cups. Wear some shorts that's appropriate length. Loving them shorts too tight in the way. Got your balls. Got your private areas looking like ball up homework in the way. That's uncomfortable. It's too tight. It's too hot to be ball up inside of some clothes. And y'all start back wearing underwear too. Start wearing underwear. Why is you at it without underwear on? Y'all order. Y'all is out of order. You out of I'm sick of it. Do better. Protect yourself.